We're going to call this meeting to order of the Equestrian Board of Health on Tuesday, March 22nd, 2022. Opening the meeting at 5.42. Um, Dave DeVignan acting as chair. Mr. Fortin is missing this evening. Um, to my right, Mr. Medeiros. To my left, Joe Correa. Wanda's here taking minutes. And first thing on our agenda. Videotaped. Oh, we are being audio and videotaped. Sorry. Thank you. You're welcome. We have correspondence letter from Community Nurse and Home Care Statistics for February 2022. 93 COVID tests. Positive. Substanti substantial reduction. In I guess. What's the, the percentage? Of I don't. I don't know that right okay. up. But I mean, we because I've kind of stepped away from the COVID. But um, what I am paying a lot of attention to is the contact tracing that has gone to almost nowhere. Um, we're not doing that. To, gone to nothing, which that's is good, good because uh, that's helping us kind of maintain good. our budget. I like that. Motion to place on file. I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Next we get approval of septic plans. The first one, map 12, lot 11H, Allison Drive. Loney's properties, new construction. Yeah, this is just a continuation of that uh, subdivision there. Another lot. Yep. I look, I look at this plan. Did you get a chance to the plan, Bob? No, I haven't. Okay, take your time. I'll take them back. Mm -hmm. May as well just give them all in. I've looked at it. I don't need to see it again. Right. Hey, Joe, this company. Oh, you wanted to. Oh, you just wanted to keep forward. Yeah. The company that's uh, putting out these uh, double uh, things, have they. I don't know who this company is, but I know you talked to one, and they straighten them out pretty good. How about any other companies you talk to about this? Uh, two compartments. Two compartment where the pipes go down. Did they ever straighten them up? Yes, the there was. They were. They they had them not in the right place. They switched them, fixed them, made them tight. That was part part of the issue. Right now, they actually put a pipe in there. Oh, good. good. Yeah. Then you can just glue on that one. Yep. Beautiful. Yep. I was just wondering on that. Thinking about. Yep. Them. They did. Okay. They barked it out. Uh. What do we got? So this is just a, again. Actually, this one. What the hell is this? This one was approved. Whereabouts is this? We're not this is a resubmittal of one that was already submitted. That's what this one is. Now that I'm remembering, I'm gonna double check it. Wasn't it? But no, I'm wrong. Sorry, we did that one. They start already. to look alike. Yeah, yeah. Blended. No, there was one that was. It was the done, model, and the then they changed was done the house. At Fifty inches up there. Yeah, this is this was a real odd place wow. because of the um, the way this was an old upland cranberry bog where this subdivision was put. Uh, that was originally what it was converted into. So yeah. uh, there was, you know, it was deep. Is really what we're looking at it, because it was filled with sand on top of it. So when we dug. If I don't think that that would, uh, it probably is like a three foot water table naturally, but all the top of it was filled. Wow. When we were digging in there. Would that be legal to have a perk in a filled piece of property? Well, the, the perk wasn't in the fill. Yeah, they perked it, it below. Huh? Yeah, they perked in natural. Yeah, they natural perked in the natural there. material. That's what and it was still 50 inches down, huh? Yeah. Because wow. it, they brought in a bunch of sand because they were trying to pump a lot of water out of it. They dug a pond over there. They were going to water it, but they couldn't get enough water out of it. So then the whole place just. Because I know get that it going. way the water tables are very high. Yep, no, they, they, they thought it was going to be. Hey, I, I question it. Going way back when that was the <clears throat> cranberry bog. I have the right to question, right? Of course. I think so. Looks pretty good. Just three uh, leak fields, huh? Okay. Dave, you find anything wrong? Not yet. Looking quick. No revision on this, right? Nope. No. I looked at it and it's nobody, cut and clear. I and think. It, yeah, it's cut yeah. and dry. I mean, I don't have. I have the plan to figure out. I went, through, I went through it. I, I didn't have any issues. Okay, motion to accept plan of red. I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 
I wish I cares. That was what, uh... That was the number one. Number one. Hmm. Good deal. These are all signed up. Oh, And we'll go over time is number three. Yep. <coughs> the second one on the agenda, 63 Main Street. Joseph and Lisa Fernandez, new construction. So, this is um, basically the addition of, we'll go with an accessory apartment and or a a home that would be allowed on a farm for farm workers uh, to occupy. This is a farm. This is currently working farm. Uh, after speaking with the building commissioner and the zoning enforcement officer, um, that's the way at the moment he's looking at it. Um, so basically we're looking at a two bedroom dwelling addition to an existing lot that already currently has a home on it. Where about is this going to be, Joe? On the lot yeah. itself? Well, there's a little locus at the top corner, Bob, on, on the location of it. Yeah. On the lot, it's in the back. It's fairly close to where the Cranberry Bogs are. Fairly close to where the existing house is. Now, the existing house is down in here somewhere. Huh? It's above it. You can see it. It's actually on the plan view there. So right here, where that is, you can see if you go straight up the page. Over in here. Right here. Existing. Oh, way back there. That's what I said, way back here. Oh, oh yeah, way back there on the main I lot. I was looking at the, the, the small map. Yeah. So who is this house going to be for? The people that work on the farm. As, as it's been presented, so I, don't know, I think there were some concerns. And and this is for the farm workers. Yes. So there's a apparently there's an agricultural exemption um, when it comes to a second dwelling on a farm, um, which it can be only used for the people that work on the farm to allow them to, the housing as a as a as a labor hmm. um, area and this has happened before in another part of the town in a, in a working farm well that's a new one for me I know, I know. I'm not, I, don't, I have concerns I don't what's the bullet inspector say well at this moment he's submitted he's given me the information that he's looking at which would either do one of two things it would either allow it under the farm uh, exemption yeah uh, the zoning exemption to allow for the dwelling or in our bylaws it could be a special permit and be looked at as an accessory apartment so he, he will issue the permit his intention is to issue the permit on that so they're going to build one a way. brand new place up there in the back this is not ex existing. This is not it's existing. It's a right. new house. It's a brand new house. Second house on the lot. And he says that the law says that you can do that? Under agricultural act. use. Hmm. It sounds like he's not positive because he's saying if he doesn't have a right to do it under the Farm Act, then he'll do it under an accessory apartment. But an accessory apartment can only be 25% of the main house. Mm -hmm. it can't be whatever this is 1200 square feet I don't know the law pertaining to that but then yeah. I'm just thinking what's going on you know yep yep and, and and like I said that's the way it's been presented to me and that's the way I'm presenting it to you I mean uh, what's your input on it you know I, no no seriously yeah. what's the input what do yeah. you feel you think it's it's legit I, to do something like this 
Uh, I, I I don't know. Uh, Dave can tell you more because he yeah. deals more with that than I would. I yeah. mean, at this point, I don't I don't want to make any. I wouldn't want to make any absolutes about it being allowed or not allowed. It's in in my opinion, we're looking at the Title V septic system itself, and if it complies with Title V, it's not up to us to issue a building permit on this. So well, I the mean, septic system is our headache. That's the way the I. The septic I mean, looks okay to me. So Taking a quick look at it, but I don't know. I'd like to see the plan just say what it what it's for. It's your prerogative, Dave. If you I, want to see what I it's just, for, it just says proposed two bedrooms. And to me, I don't want to be a part of something that. You know, to me, I, this concerns me as a just as a resident. You know, it's like it looks like a loophole to put multiple dwellings on a on a lot, which isn't allowed under zoning. No, you're supposed to have a lot. If it's going to be for, dwelling. if it's going to be, should be, it should say, uh, you know, a dwelling unit for farm employees under such and such act. Or whatever. Uh, yeah, exactly. It just well, why don't we just have uh, have who did this? Mike Costco. Have Mike. Mike Costco. Drop a set of plans, saying that way it'll cover us too, giving permission to put a septic in, saying that this is under yeah, the. Yeah, I have no problem with the design. No, the system looks. Yeah, it's good material. It's all per perfectly fine to me. Yep. But I, 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 I just want to cover our butts. Yeah, yeah. rightfully so. Yeah. I mean, we don't want to get in trouble signing something, which the plan looks okay to me. The yeah. layout and all. Uh, the tow poles, whatever you have in there. Yeah. Well, so in other words, if, me. if it was going to be an in-law apartment, then it should say proposed it, two bedroom in-law apartment. Right. right. It, it doesn't say anything. It's too vague. Mm -hmm. I, I'd rather have him take this plan, and and uh, that's my opinion. You guys have your own. No, I, I, and I, have I, him nope. stipulate what this is. Uh, the law pertaining to farm uh, people living on a farm. I have no problem with that. Um, at least then we're covered on Then we're covered. Yeah. Well, I don't want to get in trouble signing something and somebody else has a, a little farm and says, well, I want to put a house over there for somebody to live in. Is there going to be another one? That's, I mean, that's going to be another one, another one, another, another one. one there, and, and another then, one there. And, and then we're thing. looking at a big headache joke. Yeah. So Why don't give it back to Koski and tell Michael and say, hello, Mike, uh, this doesn't Verify really what the use is. Verify exactly the, yeah. the chapter section of what this is used for. You want to put that on the motion? Yeah. Okay. That's my motion. Okay. I'll second and then the motion. If he puts that on black and white and then we have yeah. no say about it, yep. building department is gonna okay it. And there's nothing wrong with the septic. I mean yeah. the septic looks okay to me. And it, it I is, it, I I, it. I'm saying now it's designed for three bedrooms, so they wouldn't need a deed restriction either. But, no. but unless the board so chose. Yeah. Because yeah. we could ask for a deed restriction that it's we're approving a septic for that building only for you know, workers. housing of workers, farm workers, right? Farm workers, not as a uh, secondary dwelling on a property. Well, you can discuss. They just don't want to discuss you know. that with Joe later, and at, okay. in your words, because you do these plans all the time. Okay. And uh, th that's my opinion. You know, for what it's worth. You know what this double line means right here? It's it's a looks like a divide. As I understand it, it's each, it's 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 two bedrooms, but it's. Divided in half, so it's like a duplex. Oh. So it could be men one bedroom, there? one bedroom and one bedroom, on each side. Oh. So there's only going to be two people on farm working. And well, invest two people in living kind of on this, yeah, living at the farm. And you're going to invest thousands of dollars for two people working on farm. Well, they have a lot of money. Huh? That's what I. My motion is to give it back to Michael and have him detail what this is in his notes of what this is going to be for. Okay. I'll, I'll, second, to I'll second that motion. All in favor? Yeah. Aye. And you want me to discuss with him about, you know, a deed restriction? Yeah, something that specifically use, limits. That's all the to Board of Health is approving for limiting to the, the, the them, use say. of what, what matches the plan. Yeah, I yeah. have no problem with the plan. The plan looks fine. And it goes on record, and that's, that's all we approve the subject for. I'm not doing anything wrong. I, I, that's my opinion. Yeah. You know, you guys have your own opinion. I have mine. Well, it's well, it's I well agree with you, Bob. Let Michael make the modifications and let us know how we make out with it, Joe. Yep. Most definitely. 
All right, next up, 33 Darling Street. Easy, easy. Carlos Costco. Costco. So, unfortunately, <laughs> there's another septic system on Darling Street. With the sewer line in front of it. There was, uh, there was some significant effort put into running the sewer up the road. This is where they didn't put it in. It went in the other direction. Yes. Yeah, so there was a couple of things. And so we were originally trying to come all the way back the middle, and yeah. then it, it got switched out. One of the houses that were going to be on, on Donnelly Street got switched out, and then the E1 pump was put in, and it went up to New Bedford. The other yeah. house ended up on a septic system. This one's all the way down at the corner, yeah. and there was some effort put into trying to tie this into sewer, and I know that they were working with the town to do it. I don't know the full extent of the story, but it was some... Uh, some answer that basically came back from town council that what they were trying to do as a whole, including the town, was not legal. So the whole thing got kiboshed and you know, it goes another septic system on a tiny lot. So they can't run the pump system up to the main road? You know, I know that Dan was working with it and was going to try to do some stuff, and I, I don't know. I don't know at the end of it. I know they really tried hard, and he, this, the, 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 the applicant here, the owner of this particular lot, even had a couple of other people interested in tying in and was going to work the deal out, and it just, just couldn't be done. I just as soon see them cross out the septic and use a pump chain and pump it up. Yeah, I mean it's too far to pump up that way. Why? Well, it's, it's they can pump a mile. It's the what's in the way. It was it was they they, you know, they had originally got some water and hey, you go under or above it. They cut through every, money. everybody's driveway. It's just you know so we tried. They're cutting through. Yeah, we tried originally with the two houses up the road. And my it was philosophy in. was take a main trunk line down the bottom, pitch it all to New Bedford, and pump it right in. Have a forced main. We tried. We really did. That's we, the best way. Put Save these people a lot of money. All right, so one we need a variance approval for the variance, one foot groundwater separation. You want to make that motion? Yeah. Motion carries. Bob, Bob made a motion to approve the variance. I'll second the motion. All in favor? Yep. Aye. Motion to accept plan as read. I'll second the motion. All in favor? Yep. Aye. How many plans do we have to sign? You know. Really? Yep. <clears throat> so this is just going to be a regular leach field. Yep. They took out the pool and put in a leach field. Get out of right. the dump your the crap. Yeah. All right, so let me see. I want to jump around here. Approval of minutes, um, January fifth, twenty twenty-two. I was absent, so we will have to table that to the next meeting. February twenty-two, twenty twenty-two. Everybody was present. Um, would you like to make a motion? Motion Bob? to accept the. Uh, Minutes as read. I'll second the motion. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. February meeting minutes are approved. Additional uh, addition so that to that January twenty first is going to be for the next meeting. We'll table to the next meeting. If Tom or me or you shows up. Correct. If you and Tom, you and Tom are there, yeah. you guys can vote on. I yeah. can't. The addition to the fee schedule to add one hundred dollar late charge to delinquent license holders. Um, Typically, we do not act on anything like this until we have a full board. So, is there a motion to table? Motion. All right, I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Um, next scheduled meeting date. Any ideas? The 19th. The 19th. April 19th. Are we still doing 5.30? Or are we going to 6.00? <laughs> you want six? All right, six o'clock. If we eight. can. Okay. If if I, if um, that's fine. I don't know. Right. Now. If I if I got a conflict, I'll let you guys know. But we'll go with six. All right. We'll if, run with six. If not, you know. If, yeah. If something comes up, I, I'll just have to. 
Leave. I may have to come in with just dirty clothes. I don't care. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're we'll, going we'll to mark it down to six for now. Last on the discussion, uh, public health excellent grant. You want to talk about that, Joe? Yeah, just quickly, we uh, <coughs> were able to get the uh, the agreement over to Copeland and Page in regards to us joining with Fairhaven and New Bedford. The, our town council reviewed it. Uh, I shipped that off to the rest of the group, and they're basically looking at uh, the agreement. Um, we haven't signed anything, haven't got anything. The other thing is, is in that grant right now, we had some money that we needed to spend, and we were able to get about uh, 3,000 COVID tests. Um, we're, I've basically been in the process of distributing that out to all the different town offices right now. Oh, yeah, right there. Yeah. So we're going to either come in to the Parting Way building or to the main town hall. The police station has them. Um, the library has them. The Council on Aging has them. The Council on Aging's already given out about 500 of them. Is there directions on that? Mm-hmm. And they're free, right? They're free. free. Yep, so, absolutely free. So the public in general Watch can this. come in and Watch pick these free test kits. Joe, oh. can you uh, demonstrate on camera how to, how to do this? <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe for another time. What a health agent you are. But I did try it. So just if anybody out there needs tests, true. call our office or and they can direct you on where to pick them up. Yep. Uh, free charge. Maybe Dave as acting chairman. Show us how you do this thing. I'll take a motion to adjourn. <laughs> <laughs> motion, motion, second. I'll second motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We are now adjourned at six o three.